Tom Conway was a British film, television, and radio actor remembered for playing private detectives and psychiatrists. Conway played the Falcon in ten episodes of the series, taking over for his brother, George Sanders, in The Falcon's Brother, in which they both starred. He also appeared in several Val Luton films. Early life Conway was born in St. Petersburg, Russia. His younger brother was fellow actor George Sanders. Their younger sister, Margaret Sanders, was born in 1912. At the outbreak of the Russian Revolution, the family moved to England, where Conway was educated at Bedale School and Brighton College. He travelled to northern Rhodesia, where he worked in mining and ranching, then returned to England, appearing in several plays with the Manchester Repertory Company and performing on BBC Radio. Career MGM When he joined his brother George in Hollywood, Conway became a contract player for MGM. During this time, he changed his last name from Sanders to Conway. He had small roles in Waterloo Bridge, with only his voice heard, Sky Murder, and The Wild Man of Borneo. He had a bigger part in The Trial of Mary Duggan, then was back to small parts in Free and Easy, The Bad Man, The People vs. Dr. Kildare, and Lady Be Good. Conway was a villain in Tarzan's Secret Treasure, Mr. and Mrs. North, and Rio Rita. He was a murder suspect in Grand Central Murder and had an uncredited bid in Mrs. Miniver. RKO. The Falcon and Val Luton at RKO. Conway's brother George Sanders had starred in three popular B movies as the Falcon. Sanders tired of the role, so Conway took over as the Falcon's brother, co-starring with Sanders. Producer Maurice Gerardy later revealed that RKO executives recruited Conway so they could induce Sanders to make one more Falcon picture, after which the series would end. So it was astonishing to them when Tom Conway caught on right away and carried the series on, even outgrossing the pictures George had made. RKO signed Tom Conway to a long-term contract. Conway followed this success with an excellent role in Cat People, the first of producer Val Luton's legendary horror cycle. He had the male lead in a second film for Luton, I Walked with a Zombie, now regarded as a horror classic. Conway was top billed in Luton's The Seventh Victim playing the same role he did in The Cat People though his character was apparently killed in that film. Between his Falcon and Val Luton assignments, RKO starred Conway in B-Mysteries, A Night of Adventure, Two O'Clock Courage, and Criminal Court. Conway was borrowed by United Artists for Whistle Stop, in which he supported George Raft, Ava Gardner, and Victor McLaglin. In June 1946, Conway obtained a release from his RKO contract. His next film was to be Strange Bedfellows at United Artists. Freelance actor on radio, Conway played Sherlock Holmes during the 1946-1947 season of The New Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, following Basil Rathbone's departure from the series. 302 In spite of a similar vocal timbre, Conway was not as well received as Rathbone by audiences, he played Holmes for only one season. He was a leading support actor in Lost Honeymoon and repeat performance for Eagle Lion and Fun on a weekend for United Artists. Reliance Pictures, a small outfit that distributed through Fox, hired Conway to play Bulldog Drummond in The Challenge and 13 Lead Soldiers. Fox cast him in the lead of some B-movies, The Checkered Coat, Bungalow 13, and I Cheated the Law. Conway had a support part in One Touch of Venus. He had the lead in The Great Plane Robbery. Conway had support parts in Painting the Clouds with Sunshine and Bride of the Gorilla. He went back to leads for Confidence Girl, and was a villain in Tarzan and the She-Devil. In 1951, he replaced Vincent Price as star of the radio mystery series The Saint, portrayed by Sanders on film a decade earlier. From 1951 to 1954, Conway played debonair British police detective Mark Saber, who worked in the homicide division of a large American city, in the ABC series entitled Inspector Mark Saber, Homicide Detective. In 1957, the series resumed on NBC, renamed Saber of London, with Donald Gray in the title role. Conway went to England to star in Park Plaza 605, and Blood Orange using his own name for the private detective he played. He had a support part in Paris Model and a minor role in Prince Valiant, but leads in the British Barbados Quest, Breakaway, and The Last Man to Hang. In 1956, the brothers both featured in the film Death of a Scoundrel, though Sanders had the starring role. In America, he was in The She-Creature and Voodoo Woman. In England, he did Operation Murder. In 1956, he was briefly hospitalized for an operation. Conway performed in the Alfred Hitchcock Presents episode, The Glass Eye, as Max Colotti, receiving critical praise. Final years Conway had supporting roles on the Betty Hutton Show television series and in the feature films The Atomic Submarine, and Twelve to the Moon. He provided his voice for Disney's 101 Dalmatians as a quizmaster in What's My Crime? A parody of the game show What's My Line? And as a collie that offers the Dalmatians shelter in a barn, later guiding them home. His wife at the time, Queenie Leonard, voiced a cow in the barn. His final television appearance was in the Perry Mason episode, The Case of the Simple Simon, playing the role of Guy Penrose. Decline and death Despite having been financially successful in his 24-year film career, Conway later struggled to make ends meet. Failing eyesight and alcoholism took their toll on him in his last years. His first marriage ended in divorce in 1953.
His second wife divorced him in 1963 because of his drinking problem. His alcoholism also cost him his relationship with his brother George Sanders, who broke off all contact with him. Conway underwent cataract surgery during the winter of 1964–1965. In September 1965, he briefly returned to the headlines, having been discovered living in a $2 a day room in a Venice, Los Angeles flophouse. Gifts, contributions, and offers of aid poured in for a time. Conway estimated he had earned $900,000 in his career, but was broke. I don't particularly want to act, he said. He said he lost his last $15,000 to swindlers in a lumber deal. Lou Ayers paid his rent. His last years were marked with hospitalizations. Former sister-in-law Zsa Zsa Gabor paid Conway a visit there and gave him $200. Tip the nurses a little bit so they'll be good to you, she told him. The following day, the hospital called her to say that Conway had left with the $200, gone to his girlfriend's house, and become gravely sick in her bed. It was the 22nd of April 1967, and he died from cirrhosis of the liver at the age of 62. His funeral was held in London.